Tuning in to Coffee Interview. Today we have with us Lady E, aka Ebony Camille, a person you want to know. Uh, she raps, she hosts her own show. Uh, it's called Eavesdropping Radio, and we're going to kind of get all up in her personal business today so you guys can get a better look at who she is, okay? My personal business? <laughs> Definitely. We're going to find out some, some good details on you today. <laughs> Um, Penthouse 87 actually came from my dream and ever since 1987 when I was born even though I didn't know nothing about a penthouse then that's always where I want to stay be at the top uh -huh. of a nice place and 87 is when I was born so it's okay. like been dreaming about penthouse 87 since 87 right and the, the music is very very common I would say it would be for kicking this summer night it's nothing busy I'm not rowdy at all, as you can see, I'm, I'm little. Uh, so it's, it's real chill, but it's still something you can vibe to. So, yeah, you know how Rick Ross says, maybe I music, I pass music. I know that's right, and we, we are expecting that. We can't all right, and your inspiration for the project so pretty much just came from like that's the era in which you were born, and you want to live that high style, mm -hmm. bad lifestyle. Yes. That's all I really want, other than the family, but okay. the, the dope house, everything else is kind of... So while we're on the topic of family, so are you dating anyone right now? My boyfriend. Okay, okay. How's that going? It's okay. Okay, guys, <laughs> so she is not single, FYI, so don't get on there trying to hit her up and holler. Might have some problems with her man, right? <laughs> okay. Small business owners, artists, fashion designers, anybody that really has a dream, okay. that wants some promotion, some publicity, some exposure, and it's totally free. Don't have to worry about no hidden fees. I hit them up. I play their music. It's all free. It's all love. Right. I mean, to get more, you know, of a, I make you my prized possession, that you might have to pay for that. But okay. <laughs> as far as... You know, the average interview, music, and all that stuff is really dedicated to artists just trying to come up. And it's really hard with the industry in Chicago because everything is who you know. And if you wear this type of clothes and mm -hmm. eavesdropping radio, it doesn't matter. You just have to have talent. Yep. Just That's be you. It. Just, be you. Yeah. Just talent. That's all we're looking for. We don't really care what you're wearing and what's in your pocket as long as you got something solid. Preach. I just made that up. <laughs> she just preached. She just preached. Okay. All right. I would say I would want to be a mixture of both. Okay. I want to have Oprah's money. Absolutely. But Wendy's personality, because she's very bubbly. But I would love to have it on TV because before it was a radio show, it started off as a TV show. Yeah. But I got scammed. Mm -hmm. I filmed it for like what eight nine months somebody took my footage and ran so that kind of devastated me but i said i have to do something to keep my show alive and it's really hard to pay camera guys lighting do all that so i was like you know what i'm gonna do what i can afford mm -hmm. and as time progresses i might get back into the tv hopefully so i could do something good like this absolutely <laughs> but um yeah I would want it to be a TV show, but if it couldn't be a TV show, I would love to be like a radio host and still work for the underground artists because we don't really have anybody working for them. It's just, oh, you got a hot song, we'll play it, but it's nobody that's really just geared towards working right. with the artists. So. The number one advice I always say is do your research mm -hmm. on everything. And just be yourself. I mean, I really do not practice. I do not write down questions. I just go off the top of my head. I catch the vibe of the artist. I have to host them like 35 minutes. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just right. put the headphones on, turn on my mic, and see what happens. And that's when you have the most fun. So I can't really give like a specific advice other than study. So you know you know how to work the controls so people can hear you talk. But that's about so it. So speak up. Yes. <laughs> Make sure you know what input and output is. Okay. 
It's really hard to explain because I don't know at times okay. because I can be a mixture of both. My name is Lady E and it stands for Lady Everything. So sometimes I could be a little bit cocky. Sometimes I could be very modest. Um, sometimes I just want to go hard. Sometimes I just want to be gentle. Sounds like a Gemini. I am a Gemini. Right. Yes. <laughs> Got so, everywhere, everything. Yes. So, you know, when I'm rapping, I don't know what's going to come out. I never know what I'm going to do. That's why I like myself because mm -hmm. I just go with what I feel. And if I'm feeling a certain way, that's what I'm doing. So I can't really categorize myself into a particular artist. Okay. Okay. So you're not Nikki? No. Not Little Kim? No. You yourself? Yeah, I'm a lady. And that is the <laughs> best thing you can possibly be is yourself. Yes. And that's great advice and a great example right here. Men and women out here in the world, be yourself. That is what's yes, most so. important out here, okay? That's what's going to make you successful. Now, so I'm not even going to ask you who you can compare yourself to because you compare yourself to you. Mm -hmm. Nobody else. Well, I compare myself to Ebony Camille. That's right. Okay. Okay. Lady E versus Ebony Camille. Yes. Okay. Two different people. Well, the plan is to be successful, mm -hmm. but the plan is to be a mogul. Um, a few people I look up to is Oprah, most, mostly um, P. Diddy, because it's a lot of ideas that I have. And the creator of all this, Poppy, me and her talk all the time about it. It's like so many ideas. I can't just see myself being a rapper, a host. I like to do fashion. I like to, you know, have some other business. So we see a clothing line in the works. I'm just lady like stuff. Yeah. Lady like. Yeah. <laughs> I've designed it. It's not out yet. Okay. But I don't like to just put out anything because I haven't did a project in like a year and a half. Okay. No rush. I mean, I know people put out songs every five minutes, but there's no rush because if I'm gonna put something out there, at least I want it to be something I could be proud of, something that wasn't rushed, something that will mean something. One thing about me a lot of people don't know is I always think about death. And it's not because I'm depressed. It's because I want people to remember certain good things about me and have some substance stuff that can be passed on. So if you're always thinking about, you know, being left behind, what the people will talk about when you're gone, what will they play? What would they best remember you by? So I'm always thinking of that every single day. So that's why every day I have to do something to make myself known. Okay. Even if it's little, it's, you know, because life is short. Every little step is a major step. Mm -hmm. I like the way you say that. It, it's a lot of stress. Um, for instance, this week has been very hard for me, I'm not going to lie, but I have good friends such as Coffee, um, my best friend Aaron that I talk to all the time, I'm crying, just like, oh, no. Dude, I'm not feeling it today. It was like, well, you know, you, you got to do it. <laughs> and you can always trust coffee to yeah. definitely let you know. Always. The truth. The truth. <laughs> yeah. The cold you hard truth. You don't want to hear it. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Like, you need it. Yeah, I know, boss. <laughs> I know, mama. Mama coffee. But yeah, good friends that just keep me, you know, because it'd be days where it's just hard. People rejecting you. Yeah. People not feeling what you're doing. You're trying your hardest. I say, Going after your dreams is the hardest thing to do because people are not going to feel the passion that you feel. They're like, you wasting your time. Mm -hmm. You should be working a normal job and that's it. You should be in school. You should do this. But it's kind of like, but this is what makes me happy. And this is what makes other people happy because what I'm doing is helping other people. So it can't True. be wrong. True. So you're a free spirit. Yes. You just do what makes you happy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not going to find anybody's box. No.